today we're talking hats. No, not these hats. We're talking these hats, the hats that go on these beautiful lamps that you can change whenever you want and it changes their entire identity. And today what we're gonna do is not only I'm gonna show you how to change the actual lamp shades because it's come to my attention that some people don't know that you can do that. But also what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a DIY that is gonna add some fabric to your lamp shades. You ready? Let's get going. First of all, lamp shades are only about like $14.95 to like they can range till about $24.95 and you can completely revive your lamp or change its look entirely. So I'll show you how, it's super simple and they're all interchangeable. So with this one, let's say I would take this out and then I wanna put this lampshade on it. We're gonna run into a little problem, I'll show you in two seconds. See, this one is top mount, this one is bottom mount. You're gonna say, well Katya, what am I supposed to do? This looks ridiculous. Well, I'll tell you what to do, okay? Let's all calm down here. We're gonna lift these two little doohickeys. We're gonna give it a good little squeeze. Okay? And then we're gonna squeeze it in to the one that we wanna put it on. Little doohickeys go down. Magic! And there you go, you got a new lamp. Now let's bring it up to the next level and let's cover this with beautiful velvety fabric like this one to really make it rich and luxurious and really turn a plain $14.95 shade into one that would cost you in stores about, you know, a lot. So what you will need for this uh, fabric covering lampshade DIY project is basically about a yard of fabric. Uh, in this case, because these lampshades are pretty small, that'll cover you for most likely both lap shades. And if you want to do cushions with it, then you'll probably need about three yards in total. You will need a fabric marker or chalk. You will need some painter's tape. You'll need your measuring tape. A ruler does not need to be that big. A cutter, or if you don't have a cutter like this, you could use just good old fashioned scissors. Quick grip permanent adhesive for fabric. Of course, your beautiful fabric, whichever one you choose. And an iron. Iron your fabric. You do not want to have a creasy looking lamp that will look silly. You're going to take your lampshade, okay? Now you see there's already a, a, a crease in it. And that's where we're going to start marking um, on our fabric. So you're going to put the lampshade onto the fabric. Starting at the seam. See where the seam is here? I start marking it and I'm rolling. When you get to the end, we do a little X because we're going to be adding about two inches to that. Then you're going to take your ruler and you're going to mark it and go to each edge. What you want to do is you're going to add about a half an inch to either side. The reason for this is so that you have your overlap so that we're able to give it nice finished edges. So dry run number one. Um, I have this tool, it costs seven bucks. It's awesome because watch this. So now once you have your pattern cut off, this is when it gets real important because this is when we start gluing things on. So you really want to make sure that you do lots of dry runs as I call them. So it's another way of measuring a lot uh, to make sure that you're going to have the one inch, uh, the half an inch, sorry, on either side, top and bottom so that we really end up with a seamless finish so that uh, it looks expensive. Okay. This one is quick grip. That means it'll grip faster. Hence quick grip. <laughs> you don't want to go all the way to the edge of the actual lampshade, you're going to stop at around an inch from the edge. Okay, so now we have this with the quick grip, it's kind of dry within like about three minutes. Now we can start rolling around the fabric. Just make sure there's no creases. Again, we ironed it, that was number one. If you don't iron it, then you know, it'll look silly pants. 
Now, once you get to the edge here, at the end, you see how the line is pretty, pretty clean? What we're gonna do is again, we're gonna use our quick grip. You wanna make sure it's nice and tight, but we don't wanna touch the inch here, just the middle. There's a reason for that, you'll find out very shortly. Otherwise it might seep through and always test your fabric before doing this to make sure that it doesn't seep through. So now you have a nice clean seam. To finish off the edges, there's two ways of doing it. Um, I prefer doing it one way, but you can do it both ways. Today I'm gonna be showing you the way of kind of just uh, pulling it in rather than sticking it inside because sometimes that can get messy. So you're gonna roll in the inside part because we had left this uh, inch here uh, without any glue, you can roll it in. And we're gonna start doing this all the way around. Tuck it all in, don't worry about gluing it, we're doing that after. When you get to the end here, remember this isn't stitched. And then we're just gonna go on and do the exact same thing for the bottom. Ta-da! Lampshades like this that have fabric like this when you buy them in store are really pricey. This for three yards of fabric well, this is kind of expensive fabric, but for three yards of fabric, we got about um, three pillows and two lampshades, and you can interchange them with anything. It's much less pricey, and you get to have fun while you do it, and you get to watch me while you learn how to do it. So, I mean, come on. It's a win-win, people. Now, watch how this room got transformed into a more luxurious, more designer's touch room. So, for more tips and everything like that, well, give me a call, okay? Now this is how you really add some dimension and some depth to the space. And this is what I provide. And these are the designer's touches that you so need in your life. Checking out, this is Lord K Design.